Civilian drones can do a lot of different things from uh, mapping out terrain to viewing uh, disasters like forest fires to maybe even delivering tacos and pizza. Uh, but what if the drone gets lost or crashes? It's kind of a sort of a hazard considering all of the mechanical parts in it. Um, but some researchers have created a new drone that uh, grows itself and then melts into a puddle of sugar when it's done flying, uh, leaving, of course, the engine, which is not made out of sugar, or uh, actually it's mycelium, which is a kind of fungus, a cellulose. It looks, well, it looks like a laptop fan, really. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but then there's, yeah, there's, there's like sort of other more organic looking parts mm -hmm. to this. That... Yeah, I, I, this it's, is, it's a, essentially a bio drone. So it's a drone made out of completely organic, organic materials. biodegradable yeah. materials. Yes. So when we, or if we lose the drone, it's not essentially creating a waste. Is it wrong that I immediately think of nefarious things that could happen with this? Do I watch <laughs> Homeland too much? This guy, is it, I did. You mean like a, a drone, like a drone bomb? Like a drone bomb, or like, a sneaky drone that like, oh, we didn't have a drone there, it's just a pile of sugar. If you're like, a detective and you see a dead guy next to a pile of sugar. That was a drone. And four motors on the ground. And four motors. Drone, <laughs> drone. <laughs> no, I think this is like spy on your neighbors kind of thing. I'm sorry, there are really wonderful applications to this. It's mm -hmm. just that I watch too much television. But you see, the thing is, you wouldn't need necessarily need a bio drone to do that. Mm. You could do that with a regular drone. Little fly shaped drone. Not that I do that. At no, all to no, my no. Um, but um, you build robots. You totally do it. I, I, I do build <laughs> robots. Yes. Um, but see, the thing is, with this, it's not only will it self, not only will it crash and dissolve, but it will self destruct if it feels like, oh, it's been away too long, or it's gone off course, or it senses an impact. I mean, that's the idea behind this. But I mean, certainly it's not going to be something that you're going to see anytime very soon, you yeah. know, like next week or next month or maybe even next year. It's, it's more of a concept right now. Yeah. Well, actually, the stuff that they make it out of, it's, it's, um, it's a type of like mushroom material. It's so, a fungus. So you, I say, it brings me a pizza. And then dissolves into mushrooms on top of the it. pizza. No, I should not eat it. No, no, I won't. I won't eat it. I think it might be kind of gross, I but it is interesting would. that it is able to grow, like bio grow its own shell. So theoretically, you only need to include a, a small amount of, of bacteria with it, and it would be bacteria. able to grow itself. I don't yeah. want that on my pizza. Yeah, but I mean, this is part of a, a competition to come up with these kinds of bio machines that that can do various things. And this is just one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's kind of cool, because I mean, what they were saying in the article was that, you know, you could go over a forest fire and then not worry about equipment, and, or you, right. or if it crashes into a coral reef, it's not gonna damage the coral the well, same way. Not as much. And not as much, it's right. It's still, it's right. going to leave something. Yeah. Yeah, but it's still, I mean, that is pretty cool. I just. Is I, this something you think of, Grant, when you're, when you're building maybe unique robots or unique devices? Am I thinking about what will happen if they crash into the wild? Well, no. Maybe, <laughs> Are the consequences on mankind? New, no, I clearly new not. Materials or in, <laughs> unconventional materials that may have oh. some kind of benefit to the device. Oh, oh, I see. Um, usually, when I am building something and I'm considering the materials involved, mm -hmm. it's optimized for that task, and you know, I wouldn't necessarily make a bio robot capable of uh, biodegrading into into its component materials. But mm -hmm. then again, I don't really make drones at this point. So I can that see that of. happening. That we know of. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, certainly, I think that's what these people are aiming for is in the near future, a lot of our deliveries may be made by drone instead of by truck or, or other conventional means. So. That would be nice because then the UPS guy won't see me in my pajamas anymore. You could just put on <laughs> pants. Why would I do that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's close this thing up. I think it's a really cool invention uh, because of the, well, not just the being able to dissolve at the end, but being able to grow itself and also being suited to environments uh, like the fires or water around it and maybe lessening that impact a little bit. Uh, but maybe it's not worth the trouble or maybe it's just the first step in a long way. Would you buy a bio drone audience? Let, let me know below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.